Hi, my name is Phil Rowley and welcome to Anchored Outdoors. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite species to pursue with a fly rod, and that's trout. Although there are many different types of fish to chase with a fly rod, trout are undoubtedly my favorite. You may not know that trout were actually the species fly fishing was founded upon. Trout feed on a variety of prey, aquatic insects, invertebrates such as scuds and leeches, small bait fish. This makes them a great fish to chase with a fly rod because there's so many different ways you can catch them. Plus, they love to come up to the surface and feed. These qualities make them such a great fly rod fish and you can catch them on a variety of different fly patterns and styles. Trout travel and emigrate well. You can catch trout on every continent on the planet with the exception of Antarctica. People are catching them in Chile, Argentina, Canada, America, Europe, Russia, Australia, New Zealand, you name a continent other than Antarctica and you can probably find trout there. One of the added bonuses of trout is the beautiful places they live. If you're not careful, you're likely to miss a take because you're too busy absorbed in your surroundings. Trout can live in lakes, streams, rivers, ponds. They require clean, cold water an indicator of a healthy ecosystem. And don't just think trout are small little fish that live in streams or small lakes. They can grow to mammoth proportions. In ideal conditions, they can reach sizes over 20 pounds. In addition to their widespread range, there are many species of trout to catch on the fly. Rainbow trout, including steelhead, brown trout, cutthroat trout, and golden trout, for example. Rainbow trout and cutthroat trout often mix because they spawn at the same time, creating a hybrid commonly referred to as a cutbow. These hybrids can reach large sizes in excess of 10 pounds, such as those that live in Idaho's famed Henry's Lake. Within the salmonid family trout belong to, they have other closely related cousins that are great sport on the fly. One of these cousins are char. These include brook trout, bull trout, dolly varden, lake trout, and arctic char. Trout and char often inhabit the same water. The white leading edges on their fins are a great way to separate them. Plus, when they prepare to spawn, they often adopt beautiful, vivid colors. Sometimes trout and char mix, creating unique hybrids. Although this can happen in nature, most of these hybrids are man-made, and these include tiger trout, splake, which is a cross between a brook trout and a lake trout, and spar, which is a cross between a brookie, or a speckle, and an arctic char. Other salmonid species that are worth noting include arctic grayling and whitefish. Arctic grayling live in cool northern climates. Their dorsal fin is a beautiful rainbow color that cameras seldom do it justice. Whitefish can be found in both lakes and rivers. Trout and their cousins, char and grayling and whitefish, are great sport fish on their fly. They're great species to learn on that allow you to develop your skills, learn how to present your flies, learn how to read water, learn how to fish lakes, learn how to fish rivers. These skills pay big dividends when you start expanding your range and chasing other fish on the fly. I'm Phil Rowley, and thanks again for watching another installment of Anchored Outdoors. April's Anchored Outdoors is a great resource for everything outdoors, so take a look around. Thanks for watching.